What's up, fam? It's your boy, Savage, baby. Got a little nugget for you while I'm getting blinded by the sunlight. Um, you know, I hear people and I see people online or whatever talking about, oh, it, you know, they're going around nationwide looking for hot markets and shit, trying to wholesale everything. Man, you ain't got to wholesale everything. You want to own some shit, man. You got to keep that joint. You need to keep everything you can, right? You might need a little money here and there. That's when you break off a wholesale, but really what you want to do is own shit. And when you want to own shit, it don't have to be in no hot market. It's got to be somewhere where somebody's looking to live. That's pretty much about it. Somebody looking to rent, right? It don't have to be in the hottest market in every city. That's one strategy, I guess, but the competition and all that, I mean, you're, you're beating a dead horse with a broke stick, you know? But uh, stop trying to wholesale everything, man. Put some shit under contract and keep it. That's the trick. Wholesaling gonna eat your ass alive. Every day you gotta start over again. Every day chasing a deal. And that's exciting for a minute until you don't get a deal for two months. Then that shit ain't exciting no more. Now it's desperate, right? Fuck that. Try to own shit, man. If you own shit, you got money coming every month. Yeah, it's 500 bucks cash. You know, $500 profit coming in every month. Whatever. Shit, that's $500 you didn't have. You got three or four or five of them. You got five of them. Do the math. That's $2,500 a month. And you ain't got to do shit. Just saying, man. That's guaranteed income. You don't really have to chase nothing. You can sit at home on the couch naked in your robe all day long and make that money. You ain't got to be out here chasing around, going on appointments that don't fruit, all that old shit. You ain't got to do that every day. I know you should be doing that anyway, but not just to wholesale everything, man. Fuck all that. Wholesaling everything is a lot of work, bro, and the taxes is going to murder your ass. You know, especially if you don't have your company structure set up right, which most likely most of y'all don't. I can guarantee that. I can put a million dollars down and say maybe one out of every 10 people that tells me how their business is set up got it right. Probably not even that. It's probably like a one out of 20 or one out of 50 ratio that actually have a mediocre, decent business structure set up. And if you don't have that set up right, you're getting straight clowned come tax time. You're getting straight boo food in the rear end, dude, with no Vaseline. Because if you don't have it set up right, you don't got no tax breaks. You don't got no depreciation. You don't got no write-offs like you could have, right? You're getting straight boo food, man. Boo food, dude. That's what we used to say back in the day. Stands for getting fucked, really. Boo food. <laughs> hey girl anyway um holla at your boy the savage if y'all want to get this shit going get this shit set up learn how to work in your little rinky dink market and still make money because you can still work in your little shitty market and make money i'm telling you you can make money doing this shit anywhere right anywhere literally like that's that's the point real estate it don't say uh i do hot real estate Oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I do hot real estate. Hey, girl. I do hot real estate in the hot markets. No, it's called real estate in general. It's a generalized thing. You can do it generally everywhere. Not just hot spots. Hot spots are overrated in my opinion. Yeah, you'll get... Hot spots is where the people are cashing out that have been holding on and it used to not be a hot spot. You know? All the good shit been gone in the hot spot most likely, unless it's just now starting to blow up. But anywho, you got me missing my turn. <laughs> I'm about to pull the truck tires out and burn rubber through this yard real quick. Anyway, y'all have a good night. I'm the Savage Investor. Check out my pages, my groups. Like, send me a message. And uh, if you need some nuggets, man, and you out here struggling, doing the same old bullshit everybody on these Facebook pages is doing, all hundreds of thousands of them doing the same thing and ain't nobody winning. If that's you, holla at me, man, because I know you're tired, motherfucker. I know you're tired. I know you're worn the fuck out. I know you're tired of fucking trying, man. 
You ain't got to try, dude. It's not that fucking hard. You ain't got to keep trying. Try, try, try every day. You're doing it wrong if that's what you're doing. I don't never try. I just do, right? I used to try my ass off, and I got tired of that shit. That shit wore me out. Had me broke and depressed. All kind of upside down on my bills. It had me fucking spending $4,000 a month and nothing coming in. That's what happens when you just keep trying shit. Sooner or later, your try gets worn out. But you don't have to try, man. You can just do. There's a way to do this. See, here's the thing. Everybody out here like, oh, yeah, you can do real estate. What they should mean, what they should say is you can try real estate. Because they ain't showing you how to do shit. They just telling you what to try. That's the fucking difference, right? You got somebody teaching you. Somebody showing you the ropes. They're showing you what to do, not what to try. It's a big fucking difference there. You need to marinate on that if you're simple. But doing it and trying shit out, that's two different things. And all that money you spend in trying, you could have just put that into action with the doing it and been on your way. But you keep on trying. That's fucking dumb. I mean, the word, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Think about that shit. Anywho, Savage Investor, baby. I got you, man. Holla at your boy. Adios.